While many people believe hybrid work offers the ideal combination of flexibility and collaboration, some organizations still struggle with the tech needed to facilitate this new means of work. We'll cover how Microsoft Places aims to help businesses overcome these hybrid hurdles as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. When it comes to adopting hybrid operations, one of the biggest challenges is simply knowing when your colleagues plan to be in the office. After all, what's the point of getting dressed and commuting to work, only for the office to be a ghost town when you arrive? On the other hand, if you're a business owner, you probably found yourself questioning if the cost of renting or owning an office space is a worthwhile investment. A new category of IT solutions aims to address these issues by bridging the remote and physical work gap to create what's now known as a connected workplace. But prior to the IT industry coining that term, Microsoft had spent years laying the foundation for hybrid office environments. For example, Microsoft's Office 365 suite makes it easy to collaborate and communicate on documents with a fully digital team. But now, with the launch of Microsoft Places, the tech giant is embracing the idea that work environments should be flexible and left up to the decision of the team. Essentially, Microsoft Places aims to help teams achieve three primary goals. Those goals are to help coordinate where work takes place, modernize offices with new tech, and optimize both space and cost. So let's break those goals down one by one. Once again, the first goal is to help coordinate where work happens. Through Microsoft Places hybrid scheduling function, the app automatically collects data through Outlook and Teams. It then provides you with the opportunity to see the week ahead and to determine which days your close collaborators plan to be in the office. Additionally, for business leaders, this function also provides an overview of which days have the most in-office attendance. In turn, this information could be used to better coordinate all staff meetings within the company. Now on to Microsoft Places second goal, which is to modernize offices with new tech. For example, Microsoft Places comes with a feature called Wayfinding, which allows your IT department to create a digital map of your office's physical space. As a result, you'll be able to find and book open conference rooms while also seeing where exactly your colleagues are currently sitting inside the office. Finally, Microsoft Places' last goal of helping businesses optimize space and cost is primarily achieved through the app's Space Insights feature. Space Insights provides business leaders with the tools to track the usage of physical space and determine occupancy trends. For larger offices, this could allow an organization to reduce available floors on less populated days, helping to both conserve power and ensure employees don't feel isolated. Now, the real question is, should you consider launching Microsoft Places for your business right away, or is it something you should sit back and review first? Simply put, if you already are using Microsoft Teams and Outlook in your workflow, there's absolutely no harm in giving Microsoft Places a trial run. On the other hand, if your business relies on alternative productivity tools like Google Suite or Slack, it's going to require far more change. Regardless, for help launching Microsoft Places on your network, contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description. And to save the date on trending technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of SyncUp with Rocket IT.